That's a if, trick you need, question. If, you need, if you need something fun to do this weekend, how about the ballet? I'm down for that. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be indoors. It's going to be it's cool, be, right? Yes. Uh, this is your last weekend uh, to catch uh, La Siflide. Siflied? Oh gosh. We're going to get sorry. confirmation yeah. on on I'm this. Sorry, it's yeah. it, by the incredible Houston Ballet. Yes. I mean, <laughs> joining us this morning to tell us all about it, Allison Miller. The first soloist with the Houston Ballet. Thank you for being here with us. Ooh. We are fumbling our words this morning, Allison. Forgive us, but correct us on the spot here, right. please. Sure thing. Um, we are dancing a production called La Sylphide. Perfect. And uh, a sylph is basically a fairy. Um, and we're dancing a story that's from uh, 1836. So I guess we don't really call them sylphs anymore. <laughs> but, um, I'm dancing the lead role of the sylph, and it's just a dream role in ballet, so. It looks stunning. We're watching the B-roll right now, the performance. Um, you're dancing as the sylph, a forest spirit, one of the leads. I mean, how exciting is that? It's wonderful. It's uh, one of the oldest ballets. Well, it is the oldest ballet that is still performed in dance companies today. So it feels like a piece of history to dance. And, um, you know, we all grew up seeing our favorite dancers doing, you know, snippets from this ballet or photos. And so to get the chance to do our own interpretation is, is super special. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful to watch. So what is it like preparing for a role like this? I mean, in terms of time and effort, I mean, what are we talking about here? How much time are you putting in? Um, we work, um, we rehearse for six hours a day. So we have a lot of shows happening kind of in a row. This is the last one of our season. So we won't be dancing until the fall again. So in preparing for Sylphie, we sort of had to juggle with other mixed programs. You know, we started working on this in March. So it's been a lot of hours in the studio, but um, yeah, great to get on stage with it. Do you have a favorite moment during this performance? Mm, there are some really neat, um, well, I won't give the magic away, but there are a couple really neat moments that the sylph gets to kind of exit magically or enter the stage magically. And there's one where she comes in through this window in the, in the upstage. And it's just like a classic moment, ballerina moment. There's a fan blowing on you and you look like you're flying. Um, it's actually pretty scary because you're up high and you kind of can't see the floor. But, but it's a really <laughs> beautiful moment that, that is, is just magical to be up there. It is pure magic. I can only imagine. I mean, you've performed all across the world. What's it like performing for your hometown audience here back in H-Town? Oh, the word of them is just like being at home and as, as nerve wracking as it is to walk on stage in front of thousands of people. Every time you get out there, it's just so comforting. It's, you know, we've been through so much here in Houston. Um, so every time we get to go back on the stage, you're just so grateful. Oh my God, what are your, I, I'm a mom, so every time I think, oh, she's the first soloist, I have to go to the parents. What were your parents' reaction when you learned this? Oh, my mom was so happy for me. Uh, she was actually here last weekend to see me uh, debut my role. So I have another show this weekend. Uh, we have three performances at the Wortham, three different casts. And it's always fun to see how each dancer interprets the role a little bit differently, um, how their strengths come through. So one of the really neat things about Sylphide is that it was the first ballet ever to be danced on point uh, in point shoes. Oh. And um, that's this just really a neat thing as somebody who loves their point shoes and I just find it so interesting. So since this is the final weekend for La Sylphide, do you already know what you're going to be working on next? We know, but we get a little bit of a break. So we try not to think about what's coming up next. We try to think about <laughs> resting. Yes. Yeah. Well, we yeah. understand that for sure. You need sure. that time to hit the reset button, I know. right? Yes. yes. But we'll be back in the fall um, with some really great programs um, before we get back to the Nutcracker in December. So yeah, definitely check out what we're up to next fall. Fantastic. Well, Allison Miller, continued success to you. Thank you for being so kind and giving us the grace this morning at the start of this interview. <laughs> Many now thanks we for know. that. Lots you have no speed. idea. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us. Being a good sport, and congratulations again on your work with the Houston Ballet.
Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Remember, you can catch La Sophia tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available right now at HoustonBallet.org starting at just $25. Beautiful.